We all have the Atmos Effects videos that we love, but we can make them better. We can do this. Stay tuned and I'm going to show you how you can overlap your Atmos Effects videos and any type of video nice and easy to get a really cool new effect using the same type of resources that you already have. Why have something the same that everybody else can have when you can make it even better? guys let's go and get into this so we're going to be using the free software DaVinci Resolve 18 so to get that software you would just go to blackmagicdesign.com and you would click onto their products and go down to DaVinci Resolve you can see there are two different levels you can just use this free download now this free download is going to give you really really powerful software and you can use it for many different things. Once you have that downloaded, you're going to want to get to know the software a little bit better. You can go on over to my YouTube channel and you can go to the DaVinci Resolve Crash Course for projection mapping. And in this crash course, I go over um, introducing it, I go into how to download and install, we talk about the dashboard, the layout, we go through each of the tabs. There's a lot of information that goes through here. And once again, this is free as well for you to really get a good hold of the software and its capabilities. All right, to start off our project, we're going to open up a new Untitled project and go to our media tab. Once we get to our media tab, we're going to locate our videos that we want to overlap. And in this video, I'm going to be taking the fiery blaze and I'm going to drag that down. And with that fiery blaze, I want to add, let's go to our wicked wreath and you can choose whichever files you want to add on top of each other. So I'm going to be going to the wall file and I'm going to pick let's do I don't know face of death would actually look pretty cool with the flames or we can do the startle ah, I like that one all right let's pull that one up so I'm going to go ahead and bring that one down as well now we're going to go into our edit tab once we're in our edit tab we'll make sure our media pull is on over here and we're going to bring down the blaze and this time I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop the wraith on top of it. Okay. So now when I get to this point in the video, let's turn on, let's zoom in a little bit. All right. So when I get to this point in the video, you can now see that here's the fire. And then once this one starts playing, because it's on top, it hides the fire. So we need to get rid of this black background. It's actually pretty easy. So we're going to go into effects here. We're going to go down to open effects. And we're going to pull out, where are you? 3D keyer. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to drag and drop it right on top of the file that I want to get rid of the background. Now, the next step is to go over here to click open FX overlay. And then I'm going to open up my inspector up at this top corner. I'm going to click on FX. And now this is where the magic happens. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on this eyedropper to add I'm going to select the black here and just draw a line. Hey guys, I hope you are enjoying the tutorial so far. There is a lot of time and research that I put into all of these tutorials. It is great that we have platforms like this that I can help share and spread the knowledge. These tutorials are ad supported and from donations from generous viewers like you. 
In an effort to further share the information, give a better experience for the viewers, share files and resources, as well as support the channel monetarily, I created a website and a course. The website houses a lot of information and resources from many great contributors in the projection mapping community. It is updated regularly as new useful resources become available. The course, that's another resource that is continuing to grow. It acts as an organized and ad-free experience. There is exclusive content and resources that are included with the course enrollment. For instance, the media used in the National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation tutorial series? Well, that's in the course, included for free. You just need to click to download. The final platform is the store. In the store, you will find different resources that are available for purchase at reasonable prices. Keep an eye out for coupons and specials, especially during the off season. All of the funds that are raised are reinvested back into the growth of the channel through purchases of hardware, software, and other things that can be used to create new tutorials, reviews, and demonstrations. There are two free things that you can do right now to support the channel. Please like this video and subscribe below. The more likes and followers that we have, the more likely companies are to send loaner or demo resources for us to work with and share on this website, all free for you to access. I thank you for your time and consideration of supporting this channel. Please enjoy the remainder of your free tutorial. Now you'll see that once I drew that line, it took away that entire black background. Now you can fine tune it a little bit because if I go a little further, you'll see that there's kind of like a black background, a little black outline there. You can fine tune that if you want to go into the finesse here or the key adjustments and that will help get rid of that a little bit more. All right, so I have this filled here. Now I do have a lot of other scene that I have in here. So let's go ahead and let's add that face. It will be a good practice as well. So I'm going back into the media pool tab. I'm going to pick up my face of death. I'm going to drag that down here, go back over into my edit tab. And now I have my face of death and let's add that like right about here with my burn. All right, so I'm bringing my timeline over and you can drag in, move it or you can just drag it over. I need to get rid of this part. So we're going to effects, we're going to the 3D keyer, drag and drop it on, go over to effects here, click to the add dropper, double check, make sure that this is on, and then just draw a line in the black that you want to delete. And there you go, now you have a head over top. Now you'll see this one is a little bit messier. You can see it right there. So this might be one that you definitely want to clean up a little bit. So I'm going to go into my matte finesse and then I'm going to just move the blur. I'm gonna give it a little bit of a blur to get rid of that edge as it goes. And then let's check another spot here. And it looks pretty clean now as I go. Let's pretend that we are all done here. We have all the clips that we want. Ooh, zoomed out a lot there. We have all the, all the clips that we want to cover our fiery blaze. You can fill it up however you would like. Now you're ready to export. Go over to that deliver tab here. You are going to make sure that the entire timeline is there, selected. You're going to click on H264 here which is the most supported codec at the moment. I'm going to go into file name and let's do fire wraith. Now we're going to save it wherever we would like. So pick your location where you want to save it. You don't have to do a lot with these settings down here. The only one that you might have to change is this one, which is a resolution. And that's just if your projector can't handle the full 1080p. If it's a 720p or 480, you would choose your resolution down there for whatever your projector can handle. Next, we're going to render it out. So I'm going to click Add to Render Queue. It will come up here. 
you will click render all. And there you go, the file is all done. I don't have a supercomputer or anything, I just sped that part up. So yours might take a bit, mine took two minutes. It all depends on how much work it has to do in this keying spot. So let's take a look at our file. I'm going to right click, hit reveal and finder. And now I have my file here that I can throw on a thumb drive or SD or just play it off However, your media player will take it. So now I'm excited. Let's take a look at it. We have our fire there. You can even hear the flames. And there you go. There is our wraith coming at us. And you can see it's over top. Let's go a little bit further. And there is our awesome skull. And you can see how nicely that blended. That blended with our fire there. And you can also hear it over top of the fire. It's a really cool way to up your window projection. Now, if you really want to advance your window projection, I have the trick for you. It's called projection mapping. Why stop at a window when you can turn your entire house into your canvas? And I can teach you how to do this. I have created a course and resource that is highly used in the projection mapping community. Head on over to holidayprojectionmapping.com where you will find tons of resources to learn how to do it including a custom created course to learn how to turn your house into the house that i just showed this course will take you all the way from the beginning to the end and this is the ultimate way to step up your window projection game go ahead over to holidayprojection.com to learn how to do this today.